Hey, Funk Monsters, it's me, the Funk Monster, and today is Funko Friday. It's been a few weeks, right? It's been two weeks since I last posted Funko Friday. Um, yeah, I, you know, I just I haven't got any pops. Um, you know, I've been slowing down the pop. I've been slowing down a little bit of everything, to be honest, but, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I wanted to record Funko Friday really quick today. Yeah, two weeks ago. Damn. Uh, I just wanted to record it quick today, so that's why I'm doing it in front of the wall. Hopefully next time. I don't know. Anyways, let's do the first pop uh, to show off. I did review this pop uh, over the past week, and it is the WonderCon exclusive The Atom. I know it's not technically WonderCon, but whatever. I mean, it's pretty much it. But The Atom. Really cool pop. I uh, love what they did with it, and uh looks great. I uh, love the Justice League line. I hope they overdo it, so I will get every single one of them. Uh, but they did make Static Shock, who I don't know. I really I don't know that character. But I'm still debating getting him. If I see him, I'll get him, but like, I'm not going to go out of my way. You know, anyways. The Atom looks great. Top 10 Pops of the Year? I don't know. I mean... Still kind of early in the year. Actually, no, it's not. We're almost at we're almost at the you know halfway mark. Damn. Anyways, next pop I picked up. I picked up at the rest of the pops. I actually picked up at GameStop. Everything I got here was from GameStop. Uh, I ordered the the Adam online. I ordered. I got this in the store, and I got two more today. So this one is Edge from WWE. Now, I really like Edge. He's not one of my favorites, but he's always, he's very entertaining. He's very fun to watch. And, you know, he's, you know, especially now, he's, he's like, he looks, he just looks like a beast. And, you know, kind of looks like that, you know, older person that can still kick your ass, you know, when it comes to wrestling, you know, I mean, obviously anyone in WWE could kick your ass, but yeah, so I got Edge. Um, not crazy about the outfit. I wish they went with a little bit more of a, a a classic outfit from you know back in the day, but still really cool looking. Uh, and I I don't have room for the WWE pops really anymore, so I want to pick up Drew McIntyre. But yeah, WWE pops are very good pops to invest in because um, same same reason for any sports pops. Um, people get injured. People get fired people get um traded not so much in wwe but like you know tom brady like the, the patriots pops of tom brady might be worth a little more now um it's, and then when they make the want him in the bucks which i'm sure they will soon you know the pat the pats one will go up but uh yeah Ah, oh, dude, I'm, I'm craving football right now. Holy crap. I watched all last season, last season. Well, most of it. I, I didn't, like, watch everything live, but I watched a good amount of it. I always watched the highlights the day after, and I was following the Bucks from the beginning. Like, I was rooting for them, and they fucking won. Oh, my God. I, I still can't get over that. Uh, it's so great when your team wins. Anyways, so I went to GameStop again, and I saw this pop on sale, and... I, okay, they're from the... Yeah, okay. So I saw this pop on sale, and I decided to pick it up. I wanted to see the movie again, but... Um, this was the last one. Someone was going to buy it. It is Deckard from uh, Blade Runner. Now, I need to get this sticker off, and I'm afraid to, because you know how it is. You don't want it to rip or anything. The box is in perfect condition. I got them for five bucks. So, pretty nice. Still need to see the movie again, but... Uh, here's the back. Looks great. I, you know, I kind of wish they put some, you know, it has such an, you know, the city in that movie is so iconic, like I can picture it in my head right now. I don't know why they didn't make the background of the city, you know. I, I forget what city it was, um, but, maybe in New York or something like that, but, still. So, uh, one of those, you know, classic sci-fi movies, and so, I, like I said, I am due to rewatch it. Because I watched, you know, you gotta be able to, you know, you gotta understand concepts a little bit better. I watched it when I was too young. Anyways, the other movie, another movie. The other pop I picked up is Press uh, from Blade Runner. Now, I probably could have waited on this one. I paid full price for this pop, but, um, I, you know, I just saw her and I'm like, it's the last one. And, 
they had the other two, but they sold the other two. And I'm going to guess they put those on clearance as well, and then they sold immediately. So, is that. But, yeah. So, pretty cool. Got two... I really want to get the chase of uh, Roy, but... Yeah, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, press. Looks great. Looks really cool. Uh, I, I, all I remember doing in the movie was doing a couple backflips. And that's about it. But anyways. Uh, yeah, that's everything I picked up. Uh, by the way, investment advice. Um, another investment advice. So, obviously the Mortal Kombat movie came out. So uh, it was good. Um, I liked it. Uh, but I've been playing the games again. So I decided to look up the, how much the pops are worth. And so so far there's pretty much three Mortal Kombat sets. The latest movie, which isn't worth anything now because it just came out. The classic Mortal Kombat pops, which some of them are creeping up in price. Um, and then Mortal Kombat X, which is the not the latest game, uh, but the game before the latest game. Came out a few years ago and... Those pops came out a few years ago as well. Those pops are getting really pricey right now. Uh, Scorpions, like at 50 bucks. Sub Zero's at like a little over 40. Uh, Katana's like 45 bucks. Rounding up a little bit. Liu Kang isn't worth anything because Liu Kang's so simple, you know, but still an awesome character. I love, I love doing the bicycle kick in the games, but. Yeah, so uh, if you're a Mortal Kombat fan and you've been putting off getting the pops, you might want to pick up the classic ones because the classic ones will go up in price. Um, I want to get the Scorpion and Sub-Zero and maybe Raiden, but other than those, I'm not really crazy about anything else. Anyways, yeah, so Mortal Kombat, keep your eye on it. The movie pops, I don't know. Uh, those, you know, because the movie isn't that great, so it's kind of tough. To say whether those will go up in price. I doubt it. Or not that I doubt it. I doubt that they'll go up quickly. You know. So anyways. That's my prediction. Um, and uh, yeah. Just keep an eye out. You know. For Mortal Kombat pops. When you're out there. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, have a good weekend. Happy hunting. Stay safe. Wear your mask. Social distance. As much as you can. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.